happy friday i know it's a very strange way to start the week but because of my holiday the vlogs kind of were a bit messed up so we're starting on a friday so happy weekend i hope you've had a great week um i have tried to take it easy as possible today i have had a shower because i needed one quite desperately um and i popped to grab the other camera from mike so that i could start on the holiday vlog uh, but apart from that i've tried to have a really really chill day my friend sarah and i have booked a double show day in the west end which i'm really really excited about uh, and she's treating me to one of the shows for a little graduation celebration so it'll be a really 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 nice day lots to look forward to very busy time coming up despite the fact i've got some time off but first i think it's definitely time for a little bit of rest my body has been very headachey and very twingy and very sore and very tired so I've had a very busy six weeks, so I'm going to have a complete day off tomorrow, I think, and try not to think about any of the crazy stuff that's going on. I will see you then. Ugh, um, the pain insomnia is bad tonight. My legs are so, so painful. I'm feeling really nauseous with it. Um, this is the massive crash I've been waiting for. I have such a headache too. I'm just hoping it's eased up in the morning, but I think it will definitely be a day in bed. I'm really struggling to cope with this pain in my legs. I'm feeling really, really sick and the painkillers aren't controlling it. And I know it's all in my muscles, so there's nothing that anyone can really do, but I just don't know what to do. I just feel very on my own right now. I just don't know what to do. <sighs> it's half four and I still haven't slept. I just can't get comfortable at all. The pain's calmed right down, but I just keep having like little spasms in my from my back and my legs and things. Um I'm completely exhausted, but I don't feel like sleepy anymore. I know I need to sleep at some point. It's just ridiculous. Hey guys, uh, after going downstairs and having a bit of a freak out, um, I called 111 and the guy said that they'd um, I needed to be seen by a GP within two hours. Of course, I didn't get the call, um, a call back within that time. But um, luckily, I managed to to fall asleep. Um, so I just slept. Um, I didn't get to sleep till half five, so I've only had um, about five hours sleep. And I still have this weird kind of feeling in my lower back, but luckily the spasms in my legs have have stopped um i'm really not sure what's going on and i'm absolutely shattered now and it's too hot um yeah i think it's definitely a rest day i'll see you a bit later i don't feel very good i don't know whether it's the heat or what it is Ugh. um Cause I don't feel super hot, but I feel super like woozy and just not good. Um, I've just been feeling really nauseous and just weak, and I keep having these little spasms in my legs still. I have a headache. <sighs> I just like today to be over now, please. I'd like to get some sleep. Hi 
Hi guys, um, I have an awful, awful headache, but apart from that touch wood, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit cooler today, but the heat is still absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's Mike's one day off for the next couple of weeks, so we are doing something. Um, he should be on his way over. I do just want to crash a bit, but I think as long as we find somewhere with aircon, I'll be all right. This is the thing with the heat, like, it was a similar temperature on holiday, but you're air conned, you've got the wind breeze when you're on the ship, and also you've got a really freezing cold pool. Here, you're stuck in a boiling hot house with no air con. So uh, we're going to find some air con. I think that's the best idea. I will see you a little bit later on. So it definitely must look like I haven't moved, but I promise you I have. Um, Mike and I have just got back from seeing Aladdin, which was better than I expected, actually. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, so I, I quite enjoyed that. But we've been car hunting today. My poor little old KA, who is, what, 16 or 17 years old now, is uh, definitely on her last leg. So I've been searching for a new car for a while, but I've been taking it more seriously since I've got back from uni. Um, and I'm looking to get an automatic because I think it will just be about a thousand times easier than, um, than a manual with EDS and things. However, trying to find a fairly small car that's an automatic is proving a little bit tricky. But we went all the way over to Kent today to look at one, and I did like it a lot. Uh, we couldn't test drive it, unfortunately. The garage was a little bit inflexible, and just I was taken aback at how much it felt like they didn't want to sell me this car. Um, so I don't know what that was about, but I'm going to have a look around with my mum uh, tomorrow evening and then go back on Tuesday and see and have a test drive and, and see but yeah um, so we've we've been around just trying to look at cars and failing so it feels a bit of a shame but it's not super super urgent touch wood um, and we also had a lovely lunch in Blue Water at ASK gluten free base nowhere near as good as Bella Italia but wasn't bad and they had this the vegan one was like pea rather than tomato i really i enjoyed that it was nice um but yeah i've had an awful awful headache all day and i'm completely completely shattered i think it's pots and the heat and things like that so um i'm glad that i've escaped to aircon places and mike's gone because he's got a super super early and super super busy week so i'm just going to take it really really easy this evening um and have an early night hopefully and hopefully it'll be cool enough to get a good night's sleep i will see you tomorrow morning guys happy monday um i say morning i don't think it is yet i don't think it is yet i don't think it still is i'm totally with it today as you can tell uh, i am feeling quite a lot better than i have been though i think the heat's finally calmed down just enough where i can like breathe um this morning i've just kind of had a bit of a lazy one caught up on a bit of love island done some bits and bobs on my computer um and mum is coming back soon and we're going out to do a little bit more car shopping uh hopefully it'll be more successful than yesterday i'll let you know so i was just sitting here minding my own business doing nothing in particular and if the last couple of weeks haven't been overwhelming enough then i don't know what to say because i'm completely completely overwhelmed because i've just found out that i've been nominated as one of the top seven um for the national diversity awards which is just insane <laughs> um so i've been nominated for positive role model for disability and it just like I'm literally gobsmacked. Um, loads of you put a little note on my nomination and your words were so beautiful. It made my heart full and that was enough for me. I, I didn't think it would go any further than that, but it has. And I'm, I'm going to an awards ceremony in September. It's all a little bit mad. I am absolutely shattered. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, we had a much more successful afternoon looking at some cars. I test drove three different cars, um, which is exciting. So it's just big decisions now really on what I want to go for. And then this evening I went out for a lovely meal and watched Toy Story 4 with my friend Hannah. It was lovely. Toy Story 4 is so great. I just, I didn't think 
it would be so good. Like, you always think, oh, it's never going to be as good as the last one, but it was brilliant and just heartwarming and just lovely. Um, yeah, a beautiful, beautiful film and funny and, I mean, Toy Story, isn't it? I'm going to get some sleep and hopefully have a restful day tomorrow because we've got a busy, busy end of the week, so make sure you keep watching. Morning, guys. Um... I'm just so shattered and so sore. I just don't want to get out of bed today, but there's a lot of stuff that I need to be doing. <sighs> I just really want to get a proper fulfilling night's sleep. Afternoon, guys. Um, I have some more exciting news to tell you, but I just, I'm feeling so, so unwell. Um, I just don't even feel like, I feel like I should have the energy to tell you about exciting things, but I just don't right now. And I don't feel like I deserve any of these exciting things because I just feel so rubbish. Um, but anyway, the good news <laughs> is that this year, not only have I been nominated for a WeGo Health Award, I've been nominated for three, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I've been nominated for Best Kept Secret and Best in Show for Instagram, which is amazing. But I've also been nominated for Best in Show YouTube. So thank you guys so much. Um, if you would like to endorse my nomination, it would really mean the world to me, especially if you're one of my regular watchers and supporters. I will pop the link in the description below where you can head to my profile on the WeGo Health website and just say what you like about watching my videos if that's okay um that would be that would be really really nice um yeah the bad news is i'm just feeling shaky and weak and nauseous and headachey and my brain just doesn't want to function like a brain i've been trying to do some work today uh, to prepare for something later in the week but yeah i'm just um I'm just shattered and struggling to kind of keep my head up and keep my eyes open. Uh, Mum prepped all of dinner, so I'm just throwing it in a pan together now. But yeah, I knew this was coming, but I just hate feeling like this. Like, I kind of don't mind the pain, but just feeling so blah. Um, it just makes me a little bit sad and ugh sometimes. Um... Anyway, I will say that I will see you tomorrow and hopefully I will be feeling a little bit better then. Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't spoken to you all day. I'm just off to guides. Um, it's been a very hectic day and that's because of something that I haven't told you, which is the fact that I have my first ever real job interview tomorrow. Um, so I've just been kind of prepping for that all day. Um, I'm very nervous. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, and unfortunately I'm in a lot of pain. My legs are giving me a fair bit of jip. So um just hoping that that goes away for tomorrow. It's going to be a long journey. I'm going all the way to Manchester for it. Um, so we'll see how it goes tomorrow. I will see you then. Morning guys. I didn't sleep very well at all last night. Um, I've been in a lot of pain. I was in a lot of pain yesterday. It's mainly just my muscles in my legs have just kind of seized. Um, and nothing seems to be calming them down. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get up and get ready. I was potentially not going to mention um, chronic illness and stuff at this interview, or try and avoid it. But I feel like my body's let me down a little bit on this one. And I might just have to come clean and... Well, not come clean, it'll be fairly obvious probably if I walk in there with a walking stick. And just see from there. Tricky, isn't it? 
So just had a little bit of a panic, a little bit of a nightmare at the station. Not all my pr tickets are printed, uh, but the woman at train line was really nice and sorted it out for me. So I'm just uh, waiting for my train to Manchester. I'm already exhausted and my shoulders are killing me from this heavy, heavy backpack. But uh, we've made it so far, so just one more train. I'll see you in Manchester. Hey guys, um, so Manchester is a little bit confusing. I've just been having a little bit of an explore and having dinner before my train home. Um, the interview was really nice. Like, I'll update you a bit more when we get home, but it was just the positive kind of experience that I needed. So that's all good, and I'll talk to you about it more when I get back to Essex because my phone is definitely gonna die. I will see you then. Hey guys, uh, please excuse the fact that I look a bit of a mess. Uh, as you can probably well understand, I'm absolutely shattered from yesterday. I was asleep probably before midnight and slept all the way through till nearly midday because I was literally just completely shattered from the journey yesterday. Um, I do not really want to be doing that all again in one day again. Um, I'm, yeah, completely, completely shattered. But... Um, it was a really nice place and the people were all lovely and I think the interview went really, really well. It was a really positive experience. I I thought going in that I probably wasn't going to mention chronic illness and stuff just because you don't want to, you know, I think it's a big kettle of fish to try and get into and get your head around and I didn't want to go too deep into it so but they asked a question um and i answered with the fact that i i run my own youtube channel and that kind of thing um so obviously they asked a bit more about the channel and i was very honest and and explained a little bit and uh they seemed quite impressed about it um and didn't probe me any more on illness stuff so i think i definitely got the right kind of level and balance of not completely ignoring it but not focusing on it um so i think that's that's very good and the job sounds very interesting and sounds like it's absolutely perfect for me obviously the fact it's in manchester is a big big thing and a big scary thing but uh the good news is is that i got a second interview um i found out that this morning so i'm going back up on tuesday next week uh the plan hopefully is to stay over and come back the next day because i'm seeing some shows in london the day after anyway so hopefully that will all pan out and I won't be quite so utterly drained um but Mike and I have just come back from a really nice lunch again at Bella Italia I've had it way too much this week uh, but their new menu has loads and loads of gluten-free vegan options it's amazing but anyway <laughs> I've also just found out if it hadn't have been a big enough week as it was um, with, you know, my national award and my, my job interview and my second job interview. Um, I'm graduating with a first. <laughs> um, so yeah, I spent the morning kind of calling people and telling people and I'm, yeah, I'm over the moon. I, I'm too knackered to be as excited as I am, but obviously graduation is, is that time to be, to be completely excited and, oh, I'm actually getting a bit emotional. I didn't think I would because... I just think, you know, there was a point where I didn't think I would graduate, uh, well, several points probably where I didn't think I'd graduate, let alone graduating with a first. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. And I said, as I said, this week has been insane. Um, absolutely insane. Anyway, I'm going to rest up. Because tomorrow I'm in London at the uh, Free From an Allergy show. It's the first time I've been. It'll be very exciting. And I'm going with, uh, well, I'm going on my own, but hopefully meeting some of the Milk Plus lot there. Um, and, yeah, meeting the, the big boss and all that kind of thing. So that'll be amazing. It'll be a lovely day. And I will see you then. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. I am feeling a lot better today after a very, very chilled out day yesterday. Uh, I literally lied on the sofa and watched tons and tons of Grey's Anatomy until I went to sleep. Um, and Love Island. But, yeah, just a lot of relaxing, which is good. And I feel 
a little bit recharged now. Um, I'm going to ruin it all because I'm going to London um, as part of the Milk Plus SAS squad. Uh, you can get my discount in the description uh, for Milk Plus. But I'm going to the Allergy and Free From show in Olympia. Um, so for those of you who don't know, might not know, I don't think I talk about this that much. Um, well, I probably did in my holiday vlog. Anyway, um, I'm, I've been vegetarian since I was 12. Uh, and I'm also lactose and gluten intolerant. Um, so this is going to be great. I've never been to the Allergy and Free From show before. Last year it looked great and I even tweeted about it being great and not being able to go. So uh, this year I'm going and it's exciting. I'm looking forward to see all the delicious things they've got there. Plus, obviously, going to see my Milk Plus SAS squad. It's going to be amazing. I will see you in London. Hey guys, after a fairly ridiculous and very busy journey across London, I finally made it to Kensington Olympia. Let's go see what's inside, shall we? And so I set up on the task of finding a dairy alternative that wasn't just plain boring almond milk with 2% nuts. I wanted something that had personality, I wanted something that didn't have loads of sugar in it, and I wanted something I could take along with me in my bag. So Uh, sorry I haven't really vlogged much I am just leaving I've been on the Milk Plus stand for a couple of hours and had a good wander around the show and uh, bought a load of stuff and got a load of freebies so I will show you my haul when I get back home it's very heavy and there's a lot of it I will see you later Hey guys, um, I'm completely and utterly shattered and in a hell of a lot of pain, um, but I'm sat down now so I'm feeling much better. Annoyingly, I had to wait um, an hour for the bus to just do the, you know, 10 minute journey home. But oh well, home now. Um, so the Allergy and Free From show was great. Uh, I had a really lovely time seeing all the bits and bobs that were there and meeting Camilla, who is our big boss of Milk Plus. Um, she was on The Apprentice last year. She came second and uh, I loved the product ever since then. As soon as it was on there, I wanted to try it. So uh, getting to be a small little bitty part of it has been has been great. And I made some sales. <laughs> Um, it was a lot of fun with the whole Milk Plus gang and also I wandered around the show a lot and uh, tried loads of things and bought quite a lot of things. So firstly I'm just going to go through with you the um, the like bag that everyone got given. You had to like queue up for it. And also plastic bag, come on this day and age use some paper. Um, so there's just some leaflets in there and all but one of them are for things that are in the bag. So I'll just talk you through those when I take them out. So the only one thing that isn't in the bag um, that there was a voucher for was a pound off of the old El Paso stuff because their gluten-free stuff is expensive. Uh, now the first thing in the bag I haven't looked at. It's a it's from Planted. It's a coconut drink with cacao. Uh, Dairy-free, vegan, calcium, vitamin D, B12. Um, all, all sounds pretty good. Um, water, coconut cream, date syrup. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Corn flour. Yeah, that sounds like it might be, it might be quite nice. I'm not the biggest fan of, of coconut milk, but since it's with coconut cream, it might be, um, creamy. So we'll give that a go. The next thing we've got in the bag. Oh yes, this was another thing I wasn't very impressed with. Um, considering it's a free from show and there is a huge vegan section to give everyone beef stock pots, I wasn't very happy with. Um, so I won't be using those. I'll be giving those to mum or someone. I don't know anyone who uses beef stock cubes anymore. Just, just put vegetable stock cubes in there. Then everyone can use them. Um, there's also Melto from Shah. I love a good Shah treat, but I bet you any money it is not dairy free. Um, yeah, milk powder. Mums. This is a real uh, gutting bag, really. It's a shame. Um, I've got a, a fairy non bio thing. Um, that's useful. Um,. And one more thing. Oh no, that's that wasn't in the bag. That was something I put in the bag. Oh, and a tea bag. PG tips, perfect with dairy-free. 
um, tea bag. So I'm pretty unimpressed with that show bag pack. Very unimpressed, in fact. Now, going on to the things that I bought or I was gifted. Um, where should we start? Let's start with this. I bought these because I loved them. They need to go in the fridge very quickly. Um, but I have never tried this. I know it is the, the big vegan mayo brand, but I've never tried it. And I tried it at the show and it was amazing. So I had to buy some straight away. I tried some other vegan mayonnaises. I tried Sackler's new one. Um, and I tried Hellman's one, but this was by far the best. And also the best dairy-free cheese that I tasted at the show uh, was by the same brand. It's Follow Your Heart. Um, and it was their smoked gouda. Um, it was really, really nice. I love a smoked cheese. And the thing with being dairy-free is there just aren't the options. I mean, more and more there are. Um, but if you want something a bit different... This is the one. Also, I give special mention to Violife's after dinner cranberry one. That was really tasty. But I think all the other Violife cheeses just taste the same. They're the best ones out there, but they all taste the same. Um, another thing that I found today that is brand new, well, new to me, that I absolutely loved, I think it might be my favourite vegan chocolate ever. And that is saying something. Uh, it is Nomo, uh, which is no missing out. This was gifted to me. Um, it was just a little freebie. And um, it's, it's vegan. It's free from gluten and egg and everything, pretty much. Yeah, gluten, egg, nuts. Um, this is their salted caramel and sea salt one. I also like the fruit and nut one and the dark chocolate one. They were all brilliant. So uh, check those out if you haven't already. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, yes. I got a big, big box of my old favourites, the Naked Bar. You will see me talk about these all the time. And I got a little pick and mix selection. It's mostly blueberry muffin. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yep, some various flavours on that. Um, I also got, now, I've, I've got these for Guide Camp. They very kindly gifted them to me. The guys at Freedom Confectionery very kindly gifted me these all-new Mallows. Now, you may have seen me have these before, but I've only ever had the little versions. These are all new. These are the big, big versions. Um, so I am taking those to Guide Camp with me so I don't miss out on, um, on Campfire Marshmallows like I usually do but um that's not for a couple of weeks so I don't know how I'm gonna make them last till then but I will uh thank you very much for those and last but by no means least <laughs> I got lots more milk plus um please remember that I do have a discount code on for 20% off so if you want to get your hands on some check out the um message in the description Overall, I've had a really lovely day. Uh, there's still one more day of this week. Feels like the longest week of my life. It's been insane. Um, I'm completely shattered. I'm going to chill out on the sofa with some Grey's Anatomy and some dinner. And, uh, oh, I was going to mention... <laughs> I was also going to mention, so stupidly... On my way home, I managed to miss the station when I was walking and walked to Hammersmith Station. Um, but they have a shopping centre there. And as soon as I walked in, there was Leon. And the other day in Manchester, I spotted it as I was going into the train station that they have these jackfruit um, vegan, like they called them wings, but they were more like little cheesy jackfruit bites. Vegan, gluten free. Absolutely amazing. With their vegan garlic aioli. Mwah, like so good. So much good gluten-free vegan food happening right now. And I'm absolutely loving it. Um, but anyway, yes. So I can't believe this week isn't over already. <laughs> it's been an absolutely insane one. I'm completely shattered. My body is telling me to stop. Uh, I really need to stop. It's not going to happen soon. <laughs> I hate to tell you. Um, I will see you tomorrow. I was going to try not to cry for sad reasons on this vlog. <laughs> just did so much pain. I know I'm doing too much. I know that. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> but it's all coming all at once. And I just... 
<laughs> My body's telling me that I can't handle it. I'm just in so much pain everywhere. I'm just everything. And I'm so tired. <laughs> it's half past ten and I'm completely exhausted. <laughs> I know I'm doing a lot, and I know a lot's happening around me, and but I I can't see any way out of it at the minute, and I'm trying to do all this stuff because I don't I don't even know why I'm trying to do all this stuff. I I needed a break after uni. And I haven't had one yet. Like, holiday wasn't even a break because it was so much more active than I thought. <sighs> I'm just a bit broken right now. And I'm just trying to power on and I can't do that. And I have to be sensible and remember that I can't do that. <laughs> but, you know... I've got loads of stuff going on next week. And I'm try still trying to fit in all the stuff on my to-do list. I haven't even unpacked. <laughs> even a tiny bit. <laughs> um, and then before you know it, it's graduation. And I just... Graduation and guide camp and mum's birthday. And, <laughs> and I need to breathe. I'm sorry, I don't mean to spell all this out, but obviously this has been sitting sitting here as I've just tried to power through and every night I'm so shattered and in so much pain. I'm gonna give my body what it wants and get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning guys, um, as probably was to be expected, I'm struggling this morning, um, I'm just very sore, I'm very, very exhausted, um, I need some food, I know that much, but uh, downstairs seems a very long way away at the moment, um, and I've been up for hours and I really need to get out of bed. Oh. sorry it's super late to be talking to you on a Sunday night um, but I've had a really nice evening we went to Lee on style uh, which was a fashion show I've never been to a fashion show before I don't think and it was really exciting um, it was run by a guy called Joey Bevan who I'd never heard of before but um, he's actually quite popular apparently and he's a fashion designer and stylist and he was really cool he presented it as well um, and it was just loads of local businesses from Leon C showcasing their work my mum's friend was in the uh, was one of the models and it was just a really nice nice evening some nice clothes some nice freebies um, and it was all to raise money for Great Ormond Street Hospital as well so it was a really really nice evening um, I'm still very very sore I'm very very tired so I am gonna get some sleep and fingers crossed I will feel a little bit better for mostly a day of rest today um, in the morning but it is Sunday so thank you so much for joining me this week it has been an absolutely crazy one like I just don't I don't understand 
how all the stuff that's happened this week has happened this week. It's been a little bit overwhelming. Um, you know, finding out you get a first in your degree, having your first proper job interview, and finding out you've been nominated for a national award all in the same week. A little bit insane. Um, but thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> Um, also, as I said earlier, I have been nominated for three We Go Health Awards this year, which is amazing. So if you would like to endorse my nomination, I'd love it if you would. You can find the link to do that in the description. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. Spoons of love. See you next week.